Sitting on a 35 hectares of arable land with six poultry houses, eight pens that contain about 10,000 birds, three goat houses with 196 goats and three pigries containing 108 pigs. The integrated farm boasts of three solar-powered boreholes, access road with drainages and solar-powered streetlights on the farm. The Executive Secretary of the National Agricultural Lands Development Authority says the project is in line with President Muhammad Buhari's administration's vision to create jobs for the youth and women to ensure food security. This is purely the desire of Mr. President to reactivate every abandoned um, farm estate across the country because the President believes that um, going back to the land is the only way our economy will be sustained, our youth will be gainfully employed, and then we'll achieve food security. The direct uh, engagement is about 600 farmers into the poultry, the piggery, and the goat tree. Now, additional 200 farmers into the processing and packaging and export, because we have processing plants here that is coming up. So uh, in the first quarter, in the first year of the entire project, uh, uh, approximately 1,000 farmers will be engaged. The empowerment of over a thousand emo women in cassava production, 5,000 men to benefit from NALDA's project has also received a boost as the Central Bank of Nigeria has approved 3 million Naira revolving loans to the beneficiaries to sustain their farms. The Acharubo farm, which has been abandoned for over 30 years, will be sustained through local security and several trainings that will put larger number of beneficiaries on track of sustainable animal husbandry. Local security is very important because if we bring outside security, it comes with a lot of advantages, but also with more disadvantages. So the partnership with NADA will enable the federal government to fund this place. They will bring other equipment like hatchery. They will bring other equipment like feed mill. They will bring frozen and storage facilities so that even what we are doing here can be packaged and prepared for marketing. And through NADA, we will now arrange for off-takers. Off-takers that will take our products to the appropriate market. Some excited beneficiaries of the project applaud the government for the life-changing experience. I am a, I'm a farmer. I train a uh, best like this, but I stopped. So then after a while, I was employed here. It has benefited us well, at least being part of this is a great thing. It's a great opportunity to me and to the ones. At least if people outside are seeing, are seeing me now, they will know that I am benefiting. I'm a, a businessman. Owns block industry. Agriculture is very, very necessary, and you can see the whole world is venturing into agriculture. So I think now that is doing good, they call upon us and they will answer them. And they are, we are managing our good, our department very well. Um, although the NABDA has helped me to learn more about farming, they have helped me a lot to learn learn more about this farming work. And I'm a beneficiary of the NAGA program 2022. Whatever I get from here, I'll use this to top up my own farm as well. And I'm not just goat alone, I will go into boat of chicken and other type of animals because I was trained in both sections. In the first year of the entire project, approximately a thousand farmers will be engaged in the area of animal husbandry, which will be processed and packaged within the farm. Nigeria in 2021 alone spent over $6 billion on the importation of food. And projects like these are here to ensure that Nigeria is able to feed itself with what it produces and also breach the high unemployment rate of the youth, which stands at over 30%. In Imo State, Nigeria, I'm Maka Uday, Arise News.